So I'm really amped. I can't wait to st start actually using my phone. I haven't put any ringtones on it or wallpapers or anything that I use, just kind of bare minimums. I do that because in the process of rooting and roming and all that stuff, you got to wipe everything repeatedly sometimes. So I'm trying to refrain from, uh, from putting too much on it because I don't want to do it again and again and again and again and again. So I'm going to do the ROM today so I can actually start using my phone. Um, really excited to do it. I'll have links to everything below, so here we go. Okay, I downloaded all kinds of stuff ahead of time this time, so I don't have to waste so much time on camera doing it. I also got a better file checker, a better uh, MD5 hasher, because that other one sucked. Um, I got... Where is... I got the uh, MD5 checker, is what it's called. It's a real creative name, I know, but... This is the way it's supposed to work, okay? You paste your, your hash in there, which I got from the website. Whichever one it is, doesn't matter. So there's your hash. Then you go into the, uh, if I can get it in frame, that'd be real nice. Sorry about that. There's your hash. So this is for the vendor.zip. I'll go over what all these files and stuff are here in a minute, but uh, you go in and you hit load file, vendor.zip, there we go, select, it'll calculate, see that one doesn't match up, uh, did I pick the right one, oh no, I had the other one pasted, that's why, uh, I had this one I believe, so we'll do this one real quick, copy, that was the Google Apps, I believe. Go here and you pick the file. It'll spit out a, a sum. These are like 360 some odd megs, the Google Apps was. That's what the G Apps is, it's, it's the Google Apps. Um, because it's not an official release or something, they don't include the Google stuff with it, something like that. I don't really know the exact um, specifics, the real details why they don't do it, but they haven't done that in quite a while for some ROMs. Uh, some come with it, some don't, I think. I don't know, it's strange, and I don't really have a very good explanation as to why. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you can see they, they came out and hit check, and they will turn green. That's the way a hasher is supposed to work. Nice and simple, nice and quick, very easy. So I already hashed all these, I already downloaded all of them, they're all good to go. Um, what they are, the MDB08M is the kernel, sort of, it's the bootloader. I have the L, uh, this ROM that I'm going to be running runs on the M. Uh, make, again, make sure you read, make sure you do your research, because if you, if you try to run the wrong one, bad, bad times. Uh, Elemental X is the kernel that we did before. Pure Nexus is the uh, actual ROM itself. Um, I'll go over all the features and stuff briefly in this video. I'll go through them a bit more once I get everything set up and uh, kind of go through it a bit because it does a lot of stuff. There's also a fantastic video that I'll put in uh, in the description for you, or maybe I'll put it over here by my tripod, um, where he actually goes through stuff more. But um, yeah. And then the G apps, the Google apps that I was talking about is all the stuff that you run, like, you know, YouTube and uh, Gmail and stuff like that. There's a certain order you have to do this stuff, and there's a couple things you have to do before you actually do anything. So, hold on one second. I'll be right back. All right, so we're set. Um, wanted to make sure I didn't forget to hash one. <laughs> I'm going to try not to brick my phone live, quote unquote, in the video for you guys. I'd rather not do that. But there, there's a way to protect yourself against doing that. So I'll uh, I'll show you all the tricks and stuff. Hang on. Now that we're done with all that stuff, we have to go into the settings. Um, there's a issue with twerp where if you have security enabled, I've read that when you flash stuff, sometimes it can kind of make it a little a little wonky. Um, I don't remember what my pen is. Mm -hmm. ah. So I'm gonna go in and remove all of the stuff. Uh, I'm not going to decrypt it. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't think that comes into play on this. And if it does, well, we'll find out. <laughs> Trust credentials, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, so I turned off all the stuff. <clears throat> Let me make sure. 
No. Okay, that's just to set it up. All right. Yep, so we're good. That's off. Now, we're going to turn it off. I'm doing my best to keep this in frame for you. Sorry. <laughs> You're not missing anything, I promise. Not yet. The fun's about to begin. Uh, get the phone turned off. We're going to reboot it into the bootloader recovery thing. I think I did it wrong. Hmm. Ah, okay. I didn't. Sweet. So. Come on there, Christmas. There we go. First thing we're going to do, back up. Um, I'm going to do everything. Because I want to make sure that if something goes wrong, I'll have something to go back to. This is what I was talking about as far as the uh, being able to Nandroid. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing a Nandroid backup. It's kind of a little play on words for the Nand storage. Nandroid. They just kind of mush the words together to be cute. But this is what I was talking about when it comes to backing up. This shit will save your ass. If you get a bad ROM or a bad kernel or a bad tweak or even if you're just monkeying around with stuff, trying stuff out and you accidentally screw something up, just flash your backup. You're good to go. It is a snapshot of the entire device. Or or not. I mean, you can go through and pick... You saw me pick what I wanted to do. What I wanted to actually back up. So, incredibly valuable tool. But it takes a minute, so I'll probably cut some of this out. Yeah, I'm going to cut this out because my dog's making noise. Alright, it's all done. <clears throat> As you can see, it generates MD5s for everything, which is nice. So it can make sure the data isn't all jacked up later on. Uh, it took, usually it'll say on here a total time. Oh, there it is, 233 seconds. So, a few minutes, no problem. Um, now we're going to go back, and we're going to go back. Alright, <coughs> we are going to first install the vendor. We're going to do that. Updating vendor. MDB08M. Sweet. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Doing this is always kind of a leap of faith. A little bit of asshole puckering. It's kind of like, oh, is it going to work? But that's kind of the fun of it, to me at least. Because when it works, it's like, yeah, I did things. Uh, we're going to wipe everything in a minute. So we did that. We're going to do... The ROM itself. <clears throat> Actually, I think I probably should have wiped first. Yeah. I'll wait till it's done and then I'll wipe and do it again. Hmm. We have a backup, so if it's screwed up, I don't care. Honestly, I've had a damn phone I couldn't hack for so long. Uh... It's actually been a minute since I've done this, but I've done this on more phones and tablets than I could even remember. No joke, dozens of them going back years. So it's a lot of fun. It's kind of a hobby of mine. <laughs> Flashing super sue, super super user kernel. Oh, it came with its own kernel. Might have put my other kernel back on. I don't know. Well, okay, hold on. One of the really important things when it comes to doing um, uh, ROMs and custom kernels and shit like that is you got to wipe your shit. So we'll do that real quick. All right. And then I'll go back, and I'm going to do the ROM again. I don't know if that's necessary or not. I'm just kind of playing it safe because I don't feel like bricking my phone right now and then having to do a restore from backup and all that crap. I gotta go. I gotta go feed the dogs in a minute, so they leave me the hell alone. It's about dinner time, so I'm trying to do this quick. Plus, I want to use my phone. I was looking at this ROM on uh, on YouTube yesterday, watching some videos and stuff on it. And it's fucking sick. It's badass. You guys will see. You'll see. So 
I'm doing a system. I kind of wish it didn't overdo or uh, overwrite my kernel. That kind of sucks. But, oh well, whatever. Now we're going to do the Google Apps. Like I said, this shit's like 360 something megs, so it's a relatively large file. That's why it took a minute to spit out a hash for it. I guess that's why it's taken a minute to install it, too. I don't know. Theoretically, I could have used the add another zip thing to this and just like put in, you know, the, the kernel or the, uh, the boot thing and then the ROM. And then the um, Google Apps and everything, and just done it all in one fell swoop. But like I said before, I kind of had bad luck with that in the past, so I try not to do that. So I'm going to wipe the cache. And I think that's it. I think we're ready to roll. So, moment of truth. One thing when you, uh, when you boot, that's normal, I think. When you first boot after flashing a ROM, it takes a long ass time to boot. And this phone takes a long ass time to boot anyway, so I expect this to take quite a while. It may, it may not, I don't know, but it's kind of what I'm expecting. Aw, oh, no new boot animation? Fail. I like tinkering with the boot animations on my, uh, first Galaxy S, I actually put a boot animation of an Android pissing on an Apple. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I was Googling around a little bit last night too, and it doesn't look like you can mess with the boot animation on this phone. I don't know. Not that I know of, at least. Maybe you can, and I just didn't see it, but... I like tweaking stuff like that. It's kind of fun. Cheap beer. I'll fast forward for you guys. <clears throat> Finally. <clears throat> there you go. Looks like we're in the money. I still need to check the kernel. Um, I might flash the kernel again. The one that we did in the other video. I'll do that off camera. You guys know how to do that. But I'm going to poke around a little bit and see if that actually changed or if it just says it flash kernel or if it meant, I don't know. Because it said flash kernel, I guess it meant it has its own. But if the, uh, <coughs> if the Elemental X app will still control it and still do what I want it to do, I'll just leave it alone. I don't care. Damn, the little circle thing goes fast <laughs> in this ROM. Damn. That's crazy. But yeah, that's how long it took to actually boot. It, it Whenever you flash a new ROM, uh, be patient. Because I've done that before. It's like, fuck, it's not working. I do it again, and I do it again, and I do it again, and then finally I'm just like, fuck it. And I set it down, and I just let it go. And then it works. I'm like, oh, well, shit. So, learned my lesson when it came to that shit. Now I know. Just let it roll. Oh yeah. So now we're in. Um, I'm going to go set it up and get some kind of tweaks and whatnot done and kind of learn my way around the ROM. There's a lot in this ROM. Check out the video I mentioned earlier. Um, does a ton more stuff than stock, obviously. Highly recommended. Well, we'll see. I can't say that yet because I don't know how stability and everything goes. We'll, we'll give that a little while before I finally give it the... Um, in the meantime, though, go check out, like I said, go check out the video that I mentioned. Um, I'm going to let it sit for a little while. 
I've had really good luck in the past with, um, like, when you put a ROM on it initially, letting it sit for a minute. Once it finally boots and gets all on, starts up, all the everything's done, just set it down for, like, five minutes. Um, I started doing that on my original Galaxy S, again, and I've kind of done it on every ROM since. I don't know if it's a psychological thing, if it actually doesn't make any difference at all, or if it does help or not. It's just something that I do that it kind of seems to help it settle in a little bit better um, when you start just immediately hammering away on getting everything set up and stuff. Sometimes it'll be slow or a little bit kind of uh, jittery and, you know, it's still trying to get all, all done and everything. Now it kind of looks like it does all that before it actually logs in anyway, which it didn't, it, it didn't in the past. That optimizing shit and all that never used to pop up. So it might not matter, but... I'm going to let it chill for a couple minutes anyway. If nothing else at all, it got pretty fucking hot. So, I will make it... That'll be this for... The, or that'll be it for this video. Um, the next video, I'll give you a walk around the uh, ROM. And I have some other kind of neat little stuff to, uh, to show you guys as far as customization for the phone. Uh, things that I do. Things that I've done for years. I don't buy... Otter boxes and shit, for instance. I buy little cheapo cases like I have on it right now that do exactly the same damn thing for the most part and are way cheaper. I got some other cool little stuff to show you, but part of it's going to be the case. Uh, stay tuned. I ain't done with the Nexus 6P fun yet, so uh, there will be more. But thanks for checking it out. If you liked it, uh, like, subscribe, share, all that happy horse shit. You know the drill. Later.